Reportedly, the MI6 sealed her court and medical records while also ensuring her friends and acquaintances remained silent through hush money and non-disclosure agreements. Despite these efforts, a witness named Christopher Jones, who had worked alongside Megan, came forward to confirm her involvement as a former yacht girl. Christopher Jones himself was a yacht boy, engaging in questionable activities on yachts in exchange for money, contracts, or promotions. Damn. Well, hello, beautiful people. I guess it's that time of year, boys and girls. Well, so many emails I've received about wanting to know whether Meghan Markle was a yacht girl or not. Um, whether she gave birth to those children or not. In my channel, I have never, I have always said these are all my thoughts and opinions. It's actually right before the video starts. Based on information out in the public domain, do your own research and share whatever information you may have. Now, I do not need to be Einstein to know when something is fishy. Just hold on to your hats about the information I will give you because I've always given you information and I always try to show you the receipts that are out there that are either directly from Parliament, from their websites. I tell you where to go, how to go. Was Meghan Markle a yacht girl? Let's find out. I will post what I know, what is there, what people who have been with her yachting say, and you make up your own mind, okay? And, and see how it goes from there. Let's see how it goes from there. We have had Kevin Blatt. I will post my life with Kevin Blatt in the video description, not in the comments, in the video description. You're asking who, you're wondering who Kevin Blatt is? Kevin Blatt is the guy who saw Meghan Markle's sex tape and was asked to put it out on the internet. This is the same guy who was asked to distribute Kim Kardashian's tape and Paris Hilton tape. So he had the tape in his hand. He admitted that he saw it. And when I asked, how do you know it was her? He said he recognized her because she was wearing her Cartier watch, which was bought at the height of her making that tons of money that now people claim she was making. Meghan Markle, when she started working at Suits, Suits um, was a D-list cable show. The first season, they didn't even know if they were gonna be picked up. Meghan Markle was making the minimum, which was not $50,000. It was about $17,000, which is nothing to sneeze at per episode she appeared in, and at the beginning, I, and you know what's so stupid? People come and say that she appeared in every episode. No, she didn't. No, she didn't. But they come, and Meghan Markle was not making $50,000 off the bat. In fact, Suits had very, very limited. Even their songs. This is why they don't play well-known songs, because they cost a lot of money and you know for the rights to use those songs. And this is why you see all those unknown songs. They had like a postcard. They filmed in Toronto because they couldn't afford to film in, film in New York. So whoever's now saying that Meghan Markle was a successful actress and she was worth two, three million, is absolutely full of S, okay? Meghan Markle was not making $400,000 a year on suits from the get-go. In fact, she did her barbecue ad in 2013 at the, what could have been the height of Suits because she started doing the 2011 and then Suits started declining after 2013. They were not getting the same ratings they were getting at the beginning in 2012. Okay, so Meghan Markle did this barbecue ad in 2013. She wasn't even paid $20,000 for that, guys. Okay, so whoever's trying to sell you this fake lemonade that she was, um, how do you call it, a successful actress? is bullshitting the face out of you, you know? So I, I can only show you what's out there and, 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 and the receipts that are out there posted by Meghan Markle, okay? We have Christopher Jones, a yachter, a yacht boy who went into Hot Yacht Miami's, Miami Hot Yachts or whatever the show, where he said very publicly in a show that Meghan Markle was a yacht girl alongside with him in different yacht 
activities. And we know that she was not there to scrub the deck of the yacht. Okay, that guy has never been sued. We know what by what Kevin Blatt has said here in my life that the guy that he was about to ask, you know, who Meghan Markle was, that he's seen her doing that video with this photographer and she was pretty dirty. And this is a man who's seen a lot of corn with a pea. Okay. That she was tossing salad. I don't know what that is, but you know, whatever it is, it didn't, you know, it's not, it, it, he didn't mean actual salad. And then suddenly the photographer who hadn't contacted him in years because a lady from Toronto contacted him because she had the tape and she asked him to see, to test out the market, to see who'd be interested in buying it. And suddenly the photographer who was in that tape called him, freaked out of his mind, telling him not to do it. I don't know if he still has the tape or not. He didn't deny not having the tape, but he did show some screenshots of this. And he's pretty, pretty coherent. And it wasn't just in my show he said it. He also did it in the life we have with Sean Atwood and in other lives that, she's ha that he has had. So this is not a previous thing. But he did imply that MI6 or MI5 were heavily involved in threatening people, that people have been hushed, shut up, and the Internet has been scrubbed. Okay? So, please, watch what I'm about to tell you, and, and you make up your, your deductive mind. None of these people have ever been sued, have never been called to question. Please, do tell me what you think. I don't know if you know this, but there was a very famous boy, a man called Christopher Jones, who is a famous yacht boy, okay? And he did a show called Hot Yachts Miami, where he revealed that Meghan Markle used to work with him along, you know, in the yachting scene. Now, we know that yachting, what yacht girls mean, what yacht boys are, it doesn't mean that they're scrubbing the deck of the boat, okay? This guy has never been sued, and he has, he claims to have the receipts. I mean, Christopher Jones has first-hand account of Megan's past and has undoubtedly sealed her fate forever, branding her as a yacht girl. The fact that Megan Markle has not taken legal action against these claims only adds fuel to the fire, leading many to believe that there may be some truth to the allegations. Now, this is the funny part, guys. It is worth noting that Meghan Markle has consistently denied any association with yachting or being a yacht girl. In fact, she famously claimed not to know Prince Andrew and mistook him for the Queen's, <laughs> the Queen's servant. Okay, Meghan was friends with Eugenie, Beatrice, and Sarah Ferguson. Sarah Ferguson later on came and flatly lied when she said that she had only met Meghan. The first time she met Meghan Markle was at, at her actual wedding when Meghan was getting married. Well, we know that that's not true. Even Meghan and Harry said that Sarah supposedly taught her how to curtsy five minutes before meeting the Queen, which is also another lie. We know that Sarah Ferguson, Eugenie, and Beatrice are a fixture in the Soho house, especially when Eugenie moved to New York in 2013, which is where Meghan Markle met her through Marcus Anderson. And Meghan Markle admitted that she knew Eugenie prior to meeting Harry. So you're telling me that Meghan Markle, bald face lie, would not know that who, what Prince Andrew looked like him, especially when Prince Andrew was also a fixture at Soho House, New York, every time he was visiting there, and in, in Soho House in London, where Meghan has been attending or coming over since the end of 2012. And yet she would not know, Prince Andrew. If you want to buy this recent bullshit propagated by other YouTubers, knock yourself out. Adam Hahn, Meghan, any chance you'd be in the market for looking to join my friends and I boat for Yacht Week in Croatia? This is in 2016. This is the very same Adam Hahn from Soho House in Chicago. Okay, so we know that there is a connection with here with Adam and Meghan Markle, and she did go on on Yachting Week. This is 
This is from the tweets Meghan Markle from Adam Hahn. And this is where he's saying, please come to Yacht Week. You're always such a hit. Most of the tweets have been deleted. Okay. There's, they have done a very good job of scrubbing the internet to remove all traces of Meghan Markle being a hoe. This is Jeffrey E. With uh, encountered Deepak Chopra. And guess who's there? Karina Shuliak, who's there, right? To celebrate the 40th birthday. Okay, there we have. And guess who was on the boat, on the yacht with Meghan Markle? None other than Karina Shuliak. Oh, I guess they were just girlfriends having fun. Yeah. During Virginia Jufre's trial against Prince Andrew, she asked to call Charles or Fergie, could be called as witnesses in Prince Andrew's sex case trial, as well as truthful Meghan, claims Virginia Roberts, New York lawyer. You're wondering why Prince Charles would be called to Jeffrey E. and Virginia, uh, sorry, to by Virginia Roberts and uh, and Andrew in Prince Andrew's trial, because also Charles was very good friends with Jeffrey E. He even invited him to uh, Prince William's 21st birthday. Whether he attended or not, we don't know because nobody will say. There's no pictures of that. We know that Jeffrey E. and Ghislaine M. went to the very special cabin at the Queen, that they were around Her Majesty the Queen, that they were around the palace. So chances are that, yes, that's what happens there. Okay? This is during the trial that, you know, for Virginia Jufre. Virginia Roberts Jufre's lawyer says Meghan Markle could be called upon to testify in the Prince Andrew lawsuit as she may have important knowledge. We know that Jeffrey E. did not have girls over for fun or to be charitable. We know that he was paying them. And if Virginia Roberts was asking for Megan to testify because she would have important information. And it was very shortly after um, it was announced by Virginia Roberts' lawyer that they would call Fergie, Charles, and Megan at witness, as witnesses that there was suddenly an arrangement between, a financial arrangement between Prince Andrew and Virginia Roberts. Why do we question whether Meghan Markle gave birth to the children or not? Because everything she has come out and said are plain, bold face lies. That's all they are. It's not disinformation. It's not this and that. Those are lies. She claimed that the reason why she didn't call the paps or the photo, or she didn't stage a photo op when Archie was born was because she didn't want the road blocked and then she would be blocking the emergency access, the emergency entrance access to Portland Hospital. Portland Hospital has urgent care, but they do not have an emergency unit where you enter there. That, that There's no special road entering there. In fact, it says here, this is directly from the Portland Hospital. Urgent Care Center for Children at the Portland Hospital. And they don't have, this is, this is because this is a private hospital, okay? For any life-threatening emergencies, you should always dial 999. Why? Because they don't, they don't have a real emergency center. And as they state here, our urgent care center is for children aged 0 to 17 and is by appointment only. Please call us on the number that's there for an appointment. What happens when you call our urgent care? When you phone us, you will have an initial assessment completed by one of our specialist pediatric nurses. If we can help you with the urgent care, they go on and say that they can, but if not, they will refer you to somebody. So this is not a hospital where it has an emergency entrance center or road that could be blocked. In fact, Fergie gave birth to, I think, at least Beatrice or Eugene, I think, to both of them. And both of them had a photo op when they were coming out of the hospital. 
the worst part of it all, the worst part of it all is that they anchor their claims that Megan was not a yacht girl based on a 2001 um, yacht trip from of Jeffrey E. with Marcus Anderson uh, to Phuket, Thailand. Nobody at least I have never said that she was there that year. I have never said that. I have never said that. But I've said that there are receipts out there from people who have said Meghan Markle is a yacht girl. And even in her Instagram feed. And I, I did a video called The Rise and Fall of Meghan Markle, which will also be in the video description. And I gave you receipts because this is a woman with a D-list salary living with, with, um, with uh, Trevor Engelson. Because she's been living with Trevor Engelson since 2004, right after she graduated from college. Uh, from the you know in communications with a major in theater not international relations or inter nor international studies school of communications does not teach international studies it's a separate college uh, which is about 10 15 minutes away from the school of communications so you can school of communications does not teach and you can see their curriculum their courses there's nothing about um that you would need to study Go to this internet, I think it's called the Weinberg or something like that college, not the School of, Communi not the School of Communications, but I digress. So she started living with, with Trevor Engelson, who was already a successful, semi-quasi-successful producer, I was coming in with decent money when she started working for Deal or No Deal. We have seen, I posted the videos with that lovely lady in Florida where Meghan Markle used to come and caddy, even Meghan Markle's account. Instagram account. You see her going to Florida, in Florida, in Miami, only posting the hats, no things about events. We know that she's been coming to Soho in London since 2013, at the end of 2012, 2013. We know that she was working as a Soho filler because that's what it was described at in the pictures I posted for you guys. Please go watch the rise and fall of Meghan Markle. And you got a lot of receipts there. I am not going to tell you whether she was a yacht girl or not, but you have just seen these people talk about, I was with her. I have receipts. These people have not been sued. Kevin Blatt has been on my show talking about Meghan Markle with this photographer. There are too many receipts that the, even the MI6 and MI5 cannot erase. So you make up your mind. Now we have people coming and say, oh, she was never. She was a successful actress. She was making $50,000 per episode. No, she wasn't. No, she wasn't. And that she didn't need to work because she was a successful actress. Then why the hell was she doing a burger ad for less than $20,000? Why the hell was she working as a caddy? And working as a caddy, and the lady in that video that I posted a while ago, she said, oh, good for her, good for her. She was loved by everybody here at the caddy when she was going to Florida, where Jeffrey E. was um, caddying or driving the, the, the VIPs around. She was loved by everybody. And, you know, she was good for her. She's marrying a prince. You know, when she's everything she's not supposed to be. She's divorced. She's already had children. She let it slip. This is right way before then. Okay. But what need would Meghan Markle have to go caddy for cash for VIPs at a Florida golf club in Florida if she was that successful? And it's not for charity. And it's not for charity. The pregnancy, again, I have never here said that the children don't exist. What I have always questioned is the fact whether or not she carried those children. And I have demanded over and over and over that the documentation that should be made or the public is entitled to with the signature of the doctors be shown. I just talked to you about Mega Markle denying that, you know, the reason now she's given because I didn't want to have a photo op because I didn't want to block the emergency entrance to the Portland hospital. The Portland hospital does not have an emergency entrance. They have emergency care where, and you have to make an appointment for the emergency care. So there's no, that's another lie that Mega Markle is telling. Okay. But people still go, oh, they treat emergency. Of course they do. And if you go to their website, they will tell you, but you need to make an appointment. Have you ever heard of anybody calling a hospital emergency, an ER unit to, to make an appointment? That's why it's called an emergency 
ER unit because it's an emergency. You call, you show up with that appointment. Yet people are still going on about it. We are catching Meghan Markle and all the bold face lies. Her square stomach. Her stomach basically is like 20 pounds in the morning and eight pounds, uh, and eight pounds less than eight pounds in the afternoon during the same event. Her ever-changing things, the lies that they tell because, and now we have the spare book where Harry says that it took two hours, trips included, back and forth to the hospital, Megan humping a, um, an air ball, put in, being put in a bathtub with an epidural to give birth to this child, which means that they left their home around 326. According to Harry, and this is in print. This is a biography according to Harry's words that it took less than two hours for Meghan Markle from the time they've left home and came back to bring back the baby with an epidural at 526. You want to buy that bullshit? Go for it. Knock yourself out. Now the doctor that they were in, the, in California where they're claiming that Lily was born, suddenly this doctor, this who had a thriving practice all of a sudden shut down this practice. She didn't give notice to her patients to have her patients arrange um, because she, that's usually the case. There's no lawsuits against her, no. But she's supposed to be the doctor who delivered Lily at this hospital. I've called the hospital. I think Bookworm called the hospital and nobody knew who Meghan Markle was. Nobody knew of her. Nobody, and she could have, she probably could have given a fake name, but I don't think so because the nurses were actually quite straightforward. But isn't it suspicious that suddenly the doctor who supposedly delivered Meghan Markle's second child quit her thriving practice, very young. So she's missing out because doctors like that in that area make incredibly good money. So this lady must have given been given very good money in order for her to quit her own practice. The doctor at the Portland hospital that Megan claimed gave birth to her child uh, in, in the UK, her husband stated that, you know what, we were on holiday. The other doctor that was supposed to have helped deliver her child was, said she didn't have any, any privileges assigned to that hospital. So my point has always been that there's if it smells funny, it doesn't, it, it doesn't taste good. If it smells funny, most likely it doesn't taste good. There's something fishy going on here. The lack of documentation that are available for any other royal child in history of the United Kingdom. The Queen's children, um, you can see the doctor's signature testifying that they delivered that child. That's what my questioning has been. Why the secrecy? It has nothing to do with the Portland Hospital um, having an emergency care. It has nothing to do because it's false. And then Megan saying that she wanted to protect her children's privacy. Even the baptism records have been sealed to the point because Bookworm and I have requested them and they have been denied citing privacy because they don't want to give us the names of the godparents. They could actually black out the names of the godparents and give you the certificate. And you ask me why? Because those documents for any royal child in the line of succession to the British throne, those documents are, are public, must be public. So there's no questioning whether or not those children belong in the line of succession. Now some YouTubers are coming to say that even if she was born of a surrogate, the child would have been included in the line of succession. Bullshit. It says very clearly that the child has to be born out of the body of the woman. And if not, there has to be a special, um, parliament has to be informed, so parliament can issue special dispensation, which has never been claimed here. It's always been claimed that Meghan Markle was parading those fake bellies up and down, and they want us to believe the BS that she gave birth to those children within two hours. Within two hours, with an epidural, this woman gave birth to supposedly Archie at the Portland Hospital. And, and she didn't want to block a non-existent non entrance to the hospital. So with everything I've shown you, what do you think? Do you think she was a yacht girl? Why would Virginia Roberts be calling Meghan Markle to testify at the Jeffrey E. trial, at the, at the Prince Andrew Jeffrey E. thing with her? And Prince Charles, please, I'll leave it up to you. 
if you want to be conned into anything, Christopher Jones has not been sued. Adam hasn't been sued. He worked for Soho House. Marcus Anderson was yachting up and down with Prince Andrew. We know that Prince Andrew was is, is Meghan Markle's pimp, uh, primary friend. We know that Marcus Anderson knows Eugenie, Beatrice, Sarah. We know that Marcus knows Andrew. We know that Andrew has been very, is very good buddies with the owners of all of the Soho houses where Meghan Markle was. So now all of a sudden, we're to believe that this woman who was a successful actress with no need to do those demeaning things of yachting and beneath her and blah, 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 blah. And now who's going to be paid $1 million per post on Instagram because she wants to return to Instagram. Meghan Markle has never left social media. She has a bunch of fake accounts that she harasses us with. <laughs> it's, you know, so, so now suddenly Meghan Markle, no, she was not a yacht girl. No, those children are hers. Probably legally they are. I, you know, we are not being unreasonable here asking for the right information like all the other royal children have provided. And it's in the public domain. You can at any point Google Prince George, Prince, uh, Sh Princess Charlotte, Prince Louis, Prince Charles, Princess Anne, all of the royal children prior to Meghan Markle's children. And you will see them all with the signature of the doctors, time and date that they were born. You will not find any inconsistencies anywhere near that. Okay? So, ah, oh, we're not in my channel. I'm not asking nor denying. I'm asking the questions and demanding the documentation that I, as a Canadian, I'm entitled to because I'm part of the Commonwealth and the realms. And they're lying to us, bold faced lying to us, which is disgusting. And now, you know when you can spot a liar? Because they fake outrage. <gasps> How dare you call me a liar? How dare you question me? If you don't want to be questioned, don't lie. If I get things wrong and you guys point it out, I will apologize. I've been called a lot that, oh, you're always saying you think you know it all. No, clearly not. You know, I don't know anything. But I read. When people were telling me that the, the queen couldn't withhold, and these YouTubers were saying, oh, it takes out the parliament and it's really difficult. Even now, royal experts are saying that. When parliament, how, how many times have I posted a, that thing that parliament has said that it's actually up to the monarch to remove all royal styles and titles? And no, it's not Prince Harry's birthright. It is just a title, an honorary title for Harry to be prince. And if Charles wanted to, he can issue a letters patent and make his ass a private citizen what he has longed for. Anyways, you be the judge. You can think a little. You don't need a 154 IQ to see what's right and wrong. If there's things that are being hidden, it's for a reason. Otherwise, everything would be transparent. You know, Princess Diana loved Dirty Diana, this song. Remember when Michael Jackson said, oh, Princess Diana, she asked me if I was going to play Dirty Diana. And I said, no, out of respect for her. And she says, oh, no, that's my favorite song. But he said that it was too late to include it. If there was a song called Dirty Megan, she would demand for it not to be played because she knows, indeed, that she is Dirty Megan. So with all that I've posted here, I will leave the Kevin Black interview live in my video description, not the comments. I will leave the rise and fall of Meghan Markle with a bunch of receipts. You be the judge. You be the judge. And see if you want to be fooled, if you want to believe. I understand I'm not talking against anybody. But you send me a lot of nasty emails. You leave a lot of nasty comments in my, in my comment section. You have no idea. I, I put review on my comment section. And you have no idea the, the things that are said to me and that I'm thankfully able to review and delete because they're not posted directly in the comment section. They, have, they go directly to review when they're that nasty. Whenever you're calling me or you're leaving comments, for, trashing me, telling me that this other YouTuber knows better, that this other YouTuber knows better, shame on you. Shame on you. It's my channel. I try to give you information here. May I get, do I get everything correct? No, but then I ask you to do your research. This is for entertainment. And I, I'm not asking for anything that others haven't provided, which is the documentation, the legal documentation that proved beyond a, any doubt 
that Harry and Meghan's children belong in the line of succession. Harry, the Regency Act of 2023 has just been ratified. Catherine is nowhere near that. She is not going to be regent if anything happens to Charles and Prince William. The next in line to be regent over the age of 21, if something happens to William next year or something, or George is under the age of 18, is Harry because he's still in the line of succession. And then his children. And then, sorry, no, and then it would be Prince Andrew if anything happens to Harry. So you be the judge. You be the judge if you want to be gaslighted by these people or if you want to do a little bit of research. If you haven't, and if I'm wrong, fine. But Kevin Blatt stuck out his neck and basically call, called it out. What, what reason would Meghan Markle have of having sex with a low-life photographer uh, after she bought herself the Cartier watch, because that's how he knew when she, and she did that interview that when she was making a little bit of money, she bought herself that when she was established, why would she be having sex with a photographer just to get her pictures taken? Why would she be doing hamburger ads? Why would she be going down to Florida to caddy? Why won't they release the documents about when the children were born? I don't care if their children are black, yellow, blue, blah, blah. If the children were born out of the surrogate, that's fine. But then it means that the whole public had been lied to, which means that the government is complicit, which means that the monarchy is complicit. And we need to know. So, beautiful people. By the way, I'll have a live today with P. Dine and Thomas Markle. It'll be a short live, but it'll be a fun one. So, let's see. Hopefully, you'll join us. But let me know what you think. Put your critical thinking hat on.